Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Spirit, what's coming towards Gemini? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their very best and highest good this week? All right, Gemini, this is what's happening. This is what's happening, all right? So the five of wands in reverse is the first card out. It sets the tone for everything. This card is saying stop avoiding responsibility. Stop avoiding responsibility. The chariot in reverse because the universe cannot escort you to where you need to go if you do not put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do it. What's this about? The devil in reverse. Release your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? The alchemist in reverse that you can't manifest something different. This whole reading is about a particular Gemini that is tolerating something that they should not be tolerating in their life. All right? Release your limiting beliefs. You cannot manifest the kind of reality that you want to live in in this situation. You have the power to manifest any kind of reality that you want for yourself. Why would you continue to manifest something that is not in your best and highest good? Release your limiting beliefs. Detach yourself from this situation because we can't take you to where you need to go until you do. We will not and cannot go against your free will. What we can do is tell you that there is happiness, success, and vitality in your future if you will move on from the feelings of loss, regret, despair, or disappointment. Mm -hmm. We will show you very clearly the path to happiness, success, and vitality for your future, seven of swords in reverse, the second you let go of a futile mentality. Because the futile mentality is what's keeping you in a place that you don't belong, Gemini. The fool in reverse says you're off track. You're off track, you're off kilter, you're not going in the direction that the universe is trying to lead you. You are driving your own ponies, Gemini. You are. Your free will is continuously manifesting something that is not in your best and highest good, but you are avoiding the responsibility of taking the action that needs to be taken to remedy the situation. Fool in reverse, foolishness, foolishness, the world in reverse, same old, same old, same cycle. You keep doing this and doing this and doing this, and it's not getting you anywhere. Queen of Swords says, boss up. Boss up, Gemini. That's you. Boss up. Make some hard core decisions about your life and your future this week. The Empress. When you boss up, you will be stepping into the power of the Empress. The Empress is the third most important thing that every human being on the face of the planet needs to understand. She is the dirt of life. That's why she's called fertility in the tarot. Nothing grows for your best and highest good without the Empress. She is the Empress because she's made from lesson one and lesson two. Lesson one is the magician. What you think about comes about. Your internal self-narrative creates your reality. The magician controls his mind, his thoughts, his insecurities, and his flesh. And he focuses all of that in the direction of the kind of reality that he wants to create for himself instead of being out of control of those aspects of the human nature. When you're out of control of your mind, you're out of control of your emotions, you're out of control of your ego and your flesh, and you're out of control of your sense of well-being, nothing can stick. Nothing can come together. All right? And you're out of control right now because you are expending time and effort in some kind of situation that is absolutely not in your best and highest good. And the, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords says, boss up, flip the world in the upright, bring this cycle to a close, flip the world card in the upright, and go in the direction that you are being led to go instead of fighting against it. Empress, boss up. Point your mind towards what your guts are telling you. 
Princess of Wands and execute. It's the Princess of Wands is about effort. Take some effort to stand in your power and bring this situation once and for all. What's the problem? Well, the six of pentacles in reverse. This is greed in the sense of well-being and the nine of pentacles in reverse. Worried about a financial setback. Worried about not having the kind of security that you need to have. And you're exchanging or sacrificing something in your life, something exquisitely important to your overall sense of well-being about life in exchange for some kind of security. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Nine of Pentacles in reverse wants you to understand, though, all of the time and effort and energetic investment that you are putting into this situation will never, ever, ever return to you. You are giving it away. You're just letting it be consumed, and you're not being careful about the kind of life that you live. Hangman in reverse. Your resistance, your delay, your stalling, Four of Cups in reverse, your emotional apathy, justice to your accountability for the way that your life is, is unacceptable. Yes, you need to be accountable for what is in your best interest. What's in your best interest? Bossing up with that Queen of Swords right there and stepping into your power as the Empress and putting forth some effort to do something about this situation. Eight of Wands. It's in your best interest to change the direction that you're going because whatever it is that you are doing is never, ever, ever, you're never going to be able to get it back. The Hierophant in reverse. It's time to cut loose of ties, commitments, and obligations in this situation. More importantly, it's time to reevaluate your foundational core belief system because, again, you are exchanging something extremely important for, for nothing, for some kind of sense of security. And the world card comes on top of that. It says it's time to close this down. Cut loose of the ties, commitments, and obligations that you have to this situation. Rise up and turn the page. Four of Swords in reverse. Instead of worrying about it, instead of being mentally restless, mentally drained, emotionally drained, stop. The Star in reverse. This is not a purposeful way to live your life. This is not your path. It's not your purpose. The Tower in reverse. Avert disaster. What's the disaster of spending your life doing something, whether it's person, place, or thing, work, career, money, relationships, love, whatever it is for you, you are investing all of yourself and you are getting nothing in return. And you will never get something in return. You will never, ever be able to replace the time and the effort that you are putting into a life that is not what you want it to be. Queen of Pentacles, boss up again. Boss up. Yes, take control of the situation. Judgment. Draw a line in the sand and say this all stops here, today, right now. King of Swords in reverse. King of Swords in reverse is someone who is salty. Salty, 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 salty to the Ace of Swords. See the truth of the situation. The truth of the situation is whomever it is that you are going to have to separate yourself from here in this particular situation this week, um, they are not going to be happy about it. But you have to speak your truth with the Ace of Swords. Your truth will set you free. To the Eight of Cups, this you can do better. You can do better than this. The Eight of Cups walks into the Nine of Cups. You can do better than this. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, all worried that you're not going to be okay. Let me tell you something, Gemini. If you will follow what your soul is guiding you to do, you will always be okay. It's the stupid flesh and bone experience that we all seem to be so enamored with that ends in a tower. Do what your soul is telling you to do. Follow your guts. Listen to your intuition. Watch the signs and synchronicities around you this week. And it will be, it, you will always be led to your best and highest good. Yes, you walk away from this no matter what. Three of Cups in reverse. Third party interference. Could be just that. Could be 
a cheating situation. It could be too many cooks in the kitchen with management where you work. Could be too many people trying to boss you around somehow, some way. This card is also about stifled creativity, right? You can't, you can't live your best self, Gemini, when you are living for someone else. Six of Swords in reverse, all kinds of mental baggage, weights around your ankles. But you know what you got to do, Pisces? Pisces. I called you guys Pisces. I'm sorry. You know what you got to do? Gemini is you have to take the initiative to reach out, find a new job, put your resume out there, put your resume out there, find a new job, quit this job. Mm -hmm. Quit this person. Quit this situation. Yes, because it's no good for you. When you do do that, when you put out the feelers with this page of cups, the universe rains down on you. The emperor and the sun, they rain down on you. Happiness, success, vitality, and the emperor as Major Arcana speaking to you as you bossing up and taking control. In the more superficial aspect of things, this emperor is the person that is going to give you a new job or help you to get out of this situation somehow. Maybe this is your father. Maybe it's your mother. Maybe you need to reach out and get some help somehow, or at least reach out and, and make a plan, help, have someone help you make a plan to do whatever this is for you. If you want to know your real story, hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org and we'll read all about it. But this week, Gemini, you need to take a step back and realize that you are wasting a precious, precious, short, limited amount of human experience on something that is just empty. It's just empty. I do hope that that helped someone. Namaste. Who do you think you are and why? Despite what you have been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will dissect the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose. With self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free.